and welcome to Nick Pug. I'm Carrie, also known as Jay at Dinner, and this would be the Pug portion. It's gadget. Um, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Rav, all under Jay at Dinner. And you can find the podcast on uh, YouTube, iTunes, and our blog, all under Nick Pug. Blog is nitpug.com, which I still haven't updated. I'm really sorry about that. I keep meeting to and then I keep forgetting. Um, and join us on Ravelry. We do have a group, also predictably enough, under Knitbug. Um, so yeah. It is the 16th of May and we had snow here yesterday. Snow. On the 15th of May. Snow. No. This just, no. <laughs> This should not have happened, and as far as I'm concerned, it didn't, even though I have pictorial proof. And probably a lot of you saw my Instagram post about it yesterday. That was the, the toned down, no swearing version. <laughs> there might have been swearing. There might have been a lot of swearing, but, you know, I was in the car alone with the dog, so I didn't really care. Um, so, we'll start off with a foe. I have a foe. Um, I'm not actually sure if I even had this started. Yes, I would have had it started for last episode. I finished this Friday. It actually took me five days to knit. I'm I'm impressed. Um, it is the uh, girl's best friend shawl, and it is by I think it's Kate Poe. Yes, Kate Poe. Um, and this is out of deep stash yarn, so I have no idea what yarn this is. Um, it's a wool nylon sock yarn. Um, and I've knit a lot of stuff out of this particular yarn. Um, so yeah. This is the new one. Um, this is actually part of a gift for a friend of mine. So this is going in the mail tomorrow. It is unfortunately not properly blocked. Um, it is blocked, as you can see. I don't know how well you can see the the pattern in it. Um, but I had to steam block it, which basically just means I ironed it. Um, because it has been wet here recently. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's currently raining, but I can hear cars go by and you can hear the swoosh of the car through wet. So yeah, nothing's drying. So this got steam blocked, which just meant it got ironed, which means it's not pulled as tight as it could be and all of that stuff, but. C'est la vie. And it actually, it did block out quite nicely. So I steam block a lot of things, mainly because I'm lazy. Um, and then on to the works in progress. Moving right along. Um, so this is one that's been on the needles for a couple of weeks and as you can see from where the needle is, there's not a lot left. I'm probably about three quarters done the bind off, um, which is actually a lace edge on this. I passed the, the midway point today did a little dance and then got quite a bit past the midway point actually. Um, I really like how this turned out. It's got all of the elements that I love in one wonderful shawl and I was a little worried about how the shaping would go but as you can see it's a nice, it is actually coming out as a nice crescent. So I can't wait to get this blocked and get, uh, get the lace floofed out and stop looking like cat's barf. The lace really does look ugly before you actually get it blocked. Um, so you can kind of you can see the lace there. Uh, this one is done out of Mad Tosh. Something, one of the sock bases. It's the one that's got 420 yards or something in it. Um, so. And I don't know if I actually said this last week or not, um, 
but how I do because I'm doing it's a knitted on edging so you knit the shawl across this way and then the edging goes perpendicular I think is the term so the way I normally do it is I'll take a DPN of the same this is the same size uh, as the working needle and just use the DPN instead of using the other end needle I just find I don't end up with as many problems that way it just works better for me so this will be finished tomorrow and I am hoping to record from my parents place or from someone's house anyway um, next weekend because that is the long weekend here it's our Victoria Day long weekend um, otherwise known as the May 2-4 partially because there is a lot of beer and a flat of beer is referred to as a 2-4 in this country because it's 24 um, but <laughs> yeah so I'm going up to Ottawa um, I'm going visiting and staying with my parents and that is my mother's birthday no sorry my mother's Mother's Day gift so I will attempt to record from their place next week excuse you anyway you cut it next week's episode is going to be late but hopefully I will actually be able to record so you'll be able to see that finished otherwise that might be the last view you get um, and then I decide to cast on something for me okay grant most of the things I knit are for me so it's really nothing new um, I decided I needed a sweater for work so in my wardrobe green is a neutral color <laughs> it is um, so this is uh, the Claret Cardigan and it's by Meg Goodacre Good Acre. and hopefully you can see that probably not because um, it is a small picture but it's got this pattern is this lace pattern is all along the bottom edge and then it's the collar and the cuffs of the sleeve and what I really like about because normally diagonal lace bothers me because it's never it slants the same way the whole way around so it's not symmetrical and it bugs me but this one has a bit of detailing in the back that is the center back right there so it comes to a point and then it slants the other way I'm okay with this it's symmetrical it works for me um, this I'm doing out of Elizabeth Levold um, the silky wool her silky wool which is I think it's 50 wool 40 uh, or 50 silk 40 wool and 10 nylon but it's nice it's soft and it's not too terribly heavy for summer it's it's a good inside in the the air conditioning kind of knit um, so I'm almost done the edging the bottom edging I have one more repeat um, so basically one more of these chevrons or yeah chevrons um, and then I start the plain portion so it should go a little bit faster um, I've been getting a lot of knitting done recently which is not necessarily a bad thing uh, so yeah this is actually a, a stash acquisition because I got this is the the new stuff it is spring green which I figured is just perfect perfect time of year for that color um, and I've got that in one of my uh, erg brain brain one of my blinger string bags this is the one that I picked up at the Knitters Frolic in Toronto a couple of weeks ago um, train of thought go on oh yes I picked up um, 20 skeins I need 10 to 12 for the cardigan um, so what I'm planning on doing is doing a cardigan and then doing a matching top 
you go with it. Uh, what was the other thing? This was the other thing because I still have this going on. This is from Erin at Bling Your String. Uh, it's blingyourstring.com and she gave me this as a giveaway. And I actually have one handy. So I've got stuff in this one. Um, so it's a needle keeper and it's for DPNs. Although you can, uh, I know people who put um, Cirque and whatnot in here because it does work for those as well. And you basically just put them in there and it stops them from coming out of your yarn. And they're thick enough that it stops your yarn from poking, or stop, stops your yarn from poking through, stops your needles from poking through your purse. Or at least helps. Um, and I love hers because they all come with these little spring hooks on them and it comes with two stitch markers that are perfect size for socks. Um, so the giveaway for this is up in the group. You have to be a member of the group to enter. Uh, you have until I think it's the 6th of June. It's the first recording in June. So it's the first Monday of June. Um, I'm going to close the thread on the Sunday. I will draw the name on the Monday when I record and you have until then to enter. And the prompt is, I want to know what your favorite item is from her shop. So from blingyourstring.com. And like I said before, I do have a couple of her bags and I am debating giving one away. Um, I did not bring it with me. So you'll have to come back and watch to see whether or not I do that. But that will be, won't be for a couple weeks because yes. Um, I think that's almost it. The only other thing, um, and this was something I had um, picked up a while ago and didn't actually show. Uh, I'm part of the Kitchener Waterloo Knitters Guild. And this is their, this is my first year in the guild, um, but this is their 30th year going. So this is from Indigo Dragonfly who is a local dyer. Um, she is from, I forget where exactly she's from, but she's from the KW area. Um, and I have, yeah, I have it. It's her uh, Louise Lace base, which is 80-20 Merino silk. Because I can't not. Um, and this was the special colorway for the guild uh, for their 30th anniversary. And it's called 29 is so last year. I love Indigo Dragonfly. I love her yarn and I especially love the names she gives her colorways. Um, but yeah, this is 1600 meters. And I bought uh, beads at the Frolic to go with this. So this will become a very large beaded shawl at some point. Not right now because I have other stuff that I want to knit first. And I haven't figured out what shawl it's going to be. So, that's it. Um, like I said, I'll be in Ottawa next week, so recording is going to be late. Or at least posting of said recording is going to be late. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to handle the 401. Avoiding it. I have to go through or around or something Toronto on Friday night. I didn't plan this well. Should have planned this better, but eh. whatever. Um, so yeah, I will see you all next week and I will be back. And like I said, I've, I've been doing more knitting, so hopefully there will be uh, another faux and possibly some more work on, you know, something. Because um, all the other stuff, the, the shawls and whatnot that I was showing last week, I haven't done anything with. So I'm not going to bore you with showing something that's still... Actually, no, that's not true. I did do a couple of rows on uh, the Big Star. I think it's called Big Star. The Shetland shawl that I was doing. Um, but it's still just brown garter stitch. So until I get some more, you know, until I actually get to a point where you can see something, I'm not going to worry about showing it. 
Um, so yeah, that's it. That's all. Have a good week, everyone. Hopefully uh, the weather gets better and it stops snowing in May. I'm very dismayed with that. Anyway.